Hey everybody, this is RTS Targe, here with this. Yeah, sorry I can't get the whole shot in here. I don't have enough room back here to back up. So, it's up close and personal with the box. You all know what this is. I'll tell you what it is anyways. It's Legos. It's Star Wars. It is the Imperial Shuttle trademark symbol. Um, personally, I prefer calling it the Lambda Shuttle. Because Lambda is scientific term actually, and is what this class of ship is actually called. Okay? I don't care if the, com if the government who uses them expensive extensively, I don't care if their anthem is playing in the background. Okay? It's a lambda, not imperial. Anyways, uh, it recommends ages 16 and up. Um, I always ignore these. There's one that was 14 and up. I was, I think I was seven, maybe I was eight, and built it in three days, two and a half, actually, maybe less, maybe two, I don't know, um, yeah, Rebel Blockade Runner, three feet long, over 700 pieces, heck yeah, okay, it is set number 10212, and has roughly 2,503 pieces, there are a few more extra pieces, as always. It's They call it a building toy. Okay, here are the figures who I will go into more extensively. Here are the wings. Here's the cockpit. Here's the dorsal fin. And stuff. Notice how it is on a uh, bad trajectory. It's going downwards into the forest. And firing its gun. Okay, so, um, here is this, show it in flight, and landed. Okay, this is a big box. Um, I got it at the Lego store, at my local mall. Um, it was 260 bucks, give or take, you know, plus tax, minus the, uh, VIP thing, which I think was like 56 bucks or something. Um, yeah. Also, for the sake of the families in the mall, get a box for this. If they have a small male child, they will never hear the end of it if they see this. Okay? For the sake of society. Little kids' parents everywhere. Okay, uh, first I'd like to say that I am very glad to be able to build Legos again. Um, I, I just think they have more quality than the Mega Bloks, and my light just fell down. Okay, damn tape. <laughs> so, mm, you can still see it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I got this for Christmas, and it took me 12 hours to build. Okay, Lego Boy, I'm sure you've heard of him, um, has said it took him five hours. So, basically, if you're somewhere between me and him, it's just nine hours-ish. Here's it landed, with the pilot missing, probably in there. Okay, here are the many features. Here's this showing that the landing gear is detachable. Here it is in the upright and flying position. That lasers move. That the cockpit opens the wrong way. And that by turning the... Uh, what's it called? The thing on the left, the right wing moves. Is that amazing or what? But yeah, I understand why they did this. Okay, so this is the box. Um, yeah, so, now for the figures. Um, first, Nitch Vader. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Okay, um, does this work? No, it doesn't. It is not focusing on him. Okay, so, um, the helmet. 
the face. What am I holding? Oh, just the cape, okay. Now single-handedly putting the helmet back on. I wish my tripod would fit, the big one. Because I... Yeah. Okay, there is, he has front printing. Sorry, I can't get it to focus on him instead of the background. Uh, cape. Nothing on the back. Red and a chrome lightsaber. I understand that those are kind of rare. Now, young Luke, who is missing an arm, also has a chrome lightsaber. This time it is green. And, uh, has hair. Is smiling because he is the good guy. Has a robe. It's black. Yep. Um, nothing on the back. Tends to fall a lot. And has um, tan face and left hand. And a glove on his right hand. Now for the Imperial Commander. Um, now in the Navy, a commander is an 05. He has six bars here. What's wrong with this picture? Uh, the top three are red, bottom three are blue. Don't know if you can see anything. Not a lot of detail on the uh, the screen at the moment. So uh, he has front printing. Nothing on the back. He is sort of snarling as if he thinks he is superior to you because you are rebel scum and must be wiped from the face of the moon and indeed the galaxy. He has a confederate cap. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Um, yeah. Now for the confederate... What am I saying? The imperial pilot. Um, he has gray lines on his shirt and a belt. I found his back. A smirk as if he thinks he is superior to you because he can fly ships. Which I guess he is. You have to be pretty brave to fly those. At least braver than me. I kind of get scared that I'll crash, even though just doing a small turn. But I've actually been at the... Nothing on the back, but I have actually been at the control of the plane. So, you know. Now for the Ground Pounder. PBI. Why they include him in this set, I have no idea. He doesn't fit in the cockpit. And, yeah. Okay, he has a gun. Sorry this isn't focusing on him. Sorry it's focusing on the guys I've already done. He has a helmet with blue stripes. Gray panels of gray stripe. No, that's black. And, uh, yeah. He has no head. At least no face. He has printing on the front. And actually has printing on the back. So that's pretty good. I wish it would focus on my hand instead of what's in the background. Anyways, um, yeah. So. Now for this beauty. Yeah. Um, I guess I will start with the cockpit because I had just done these guys. So, this flips upward and you have to get it sort of... It, it's, off, it's off the landing gear. Now be sure to press these in as you put... as you flip it up because... Yeah. So, the Imperial Pilot. Sorry for the slight jog there. For some reason, my camera stops filming after nine... after almost ten minutes. I don't know what's wrong with it. I may need a new one. You may have noticed that in my, uh... ODST drop pod one. Which is not up as of this filming. Because I have a special project that is 
working. That is actually done. I just haven't gotten around to uploading it. Okay, so. Pilot goes on the right. Commander. Goes. On the left. He's taking up the position of the co-pilot. Now, young Luke has thrown his lightsaber off of the air hockey table. Um, he gets sent to the back because he's a bad boy. Anyways, um, you know, trying to kill the Emperor and all that stuff. Now, Vader um, is a bit more difficult to put on because of the cape and also because I put Luke in first. And because I'm holding the camera with the left hand and cannot use it. There. Now they all fit. Uh, you can see that there are screens there. Those are one of the only stickers there are. The only other sticker is this. I'll get to that later. Um, yeah, so. Flip it this way. Flip that down. And also, I'm not sure if you can see this at all, especially because, um, yeah. So right about here, there is a printed piece. I think you can see a little bit of it. It's mainly focusing on the screen, however. You can see the face fairly well. And there's just, yeah, that's a fairly standard printed piece for controls and stuff. So, yeah. So now, the little stormtrooper. Well, my perspective is really screwed up from looking at the screen. Yeah. Okay, the stormtrooper has no place on the ship because this is taken up by air and the gears for the wings. So, yeah. Um, zoom out. Okay, um, these are the wings, they have little yellow things on them, and now I shall try to very gently turn this around without hitting anything, switching it to my right hand, sorry about having this all wobbly, normally I have a tripod, I'm actually holding the tripod, and yeah, not the camera, I think it may help a little bit, okay, so, um, yeah, this... My light just really fell now. Whoa. There, try that. Okay. There, it made a difference. Okay, this... Uh, well, they did a really good job on the back, considering you never saw the back in the film. Yeah. These... Turn these. I shall show you that now by very carefully and one handed. Actually, you know what? I'm there. I can see anything. Okay. Now, just be careful to use two hands with this. Okay, now you see the landing gear is attached with doing this one-handed. Okay. These things. Can you see that at all? Yes, you can. Okay. There's two of them. They hold the landing gear on. They're easily removable. Now you have a hole in the fuselage. There. With which you can easily put on that. There. Now, I believe you turn this. Let's see, is this. Okay, the way I have it set up, clockwise means down. So I should now deploy the tripod. Tripod deployed. There. Now, you know what? Very carefully. 
Oops, my thumb. And you can see it lowering. 